What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back. This is another uh, video. Um, you know, I just thought um, I should make a video of this because it's been a long time coming. Um, you know, I kind of wanted to, uh, you know, do this video because it's a common uh, homeowner's problem. Uh, if you have a well water or even for that matter, if you have a city water, uh, it still is the same issue. So the reason why I'm doing this video is recently my water softener, you see here, this tank, and that's the pre-filter or the whole house pre-filter, um, kind of, you know, um, shot. It's been old and um, it, what it does is basically this thing, you know, regenerates the water. It uses the, uh, the salt from the brine tank and goes into this chamber here and it cleanses and then it's gonna discharge back into the uh, main line it's going to the house so when it washes the uh, the media in here the water will um, drain like you know it will discharge right there into the uh, dry well so this thing I don't know for some reason it was clogged and the water would go in and it would uh, you know seep through it and it would overflow and you know when I one day I come in there's a water all around here in the basement so um, you know you see the stain marks there so I said okay it's about time rather than fixing this I might as well get rid of it so then um, lucky or not unfortunately uh, my uh, well pump broke so that's another offset so we had to get a well guys here and um, they replaced this new well tank with some cutoff um, the constant pressure valve and the leak detector or leak defender whatever you want to call so we installed them and that put me off at now about like four grand uh, just right there to get the other uh, tank which was about like 1700 it's a constant pressure and you see here um, the pressure has been set and it's just kind of night uh, it was a nightmare because we didn't have water for all one day so the guys came in and they said the pump was gone and it's been 18 years or whatever so they had to replace it which is fine i'm happy i'm glad i did it and uh, this happened at the same time uh, a week ago i had ordered a new um, water filter and softener system and meanwhile this happened so i thought okay it's good for me and i might as well replace everything so it's gonna last me for some time so here we are we got that thing replaced and that's all just like brand new we just did it like two days ago so that's good one part of it so what happens is the, the water from the well or the main line if you're having a city water comes through this and then there's a gauge here pressure gauge and the water goes into the tank uh, this is for the well water so it's got some kind of a balloon or a diaphragm that has some um, pressure uh, in the uh, the pump so what it does is it pushes the water to the uh, floors upstairs so it goes in there and again it comes out and you see it's going through um, the pre-filter here and then we have a water softener and then then you know it mechanism that's how it will work so anyway that's that so coming back to um, the water softener and the filtration system so i've been doing some research like anyone else i looked and looked and looked and i even got um, a couple of plumbers uh, come in and give me an estimate they were you know just to put the softener uh, they were at 2200 2400 2600 i'm like oof this is too much uh, just for the softener and they're not even putting any filtration into it and then um, somehow i you know fumbled on line and i came across um, pelican so it seems to be very popular and a lot of people have used it and uh, they had very positive reviews so i said okay that's something I need to look into. So um, I ordered it a week ago and um, finally, you know, it came. It's been almost like I think I did order on Monday and uh, it just arrived um, today. So I just want to do the unboxing today. And in my next video, I'm going to do how I put it in. So what I did was I ordered um, Pelican Combo. Water filtration and softener combo is what they have and along with the um, the UV so you see a box uh, here uh, let me just read it so that's a UV system and uh, also what I did is that's like a pump plumbing supplies I guess so what I did was um, I also went ahead and um, and 
and I bought a like a self install kit so that put me at uh, 275 or 280 something like that and the whole system uh, with the water tank uh, water filtration tank and the softener and the UV for one to three bedroom uh, bathroom sorry um, was about like 2600 with discounts or whatever uh, usually it's like three grand so they have some uh, 12 percent off or whatever so it got me at 2600 plus another 285 plus tax and whatnot so it came out about like 29 something so i said okay it's a good investment because water is something we don't want to take chances with because it's an everyday thing we need to use it for plumbing for bathing you know for appliances for cooking for drinking so that's something we cannot neglect so i said okay let me buy the best if i can so i did it and uh, let's go ahead and unbox it and I'll walk you through um, each uh, boxes and then we'll go from there. All right, so I just uh, cut the boxes uh, open here. So let's continue. Um, so I see on your right here, um, which is the, uh, the Nature Soft um, water conditioner. Uh, I think they have some nice, um, cute ad, uh, like a promo. Obviously, they are trying to market themselves with the RO system as well as the ultraviolet system, which is cute, which I already have both now because I have the RO system under the sink and I also bought the uh, ultraviolet with the system, as you can see right there. So anyway, that's that. And uh, let's go ahead. And this is the uh, the water. Um, um, you can see the nice uh, stainless steel tank, which is the, uh, the Nature Soft. And if you can see it, I'm sure let me zoom in. That's a nature soft uh, softener or conditioner as they call it. And um, on your left, there's another box. Um, I think they are pretty neat the way they've boxed it. It's pretty nice. And this is um, the wool house water filter. So that's the one I think we need to pre soak 48 hours. And that's the thing that they're trying to um, say here. And what is it that they have here? Caution. This filter must be soaked for 48 hours prior and rinsed prior to installation. Please refer to the pre-installation section of the owner's manual. In the owner's manual, head may loosen in transit. Please tighten and tight only. So it is nice. And that, that thing, some Spanish or whatever. Um, that's that. That's the inlet. Okay. So I think what they ask is, okay, you put the water in and you wait until the water comes out here and then you stop. Then it is soaked for 24 hours or 48 hours. Then you come back, put the water here and then you put it out the other way or vice versa. I got to read about it. So I don't know yet. That's what I saw one of the videos. So that's that. We have the, um, the water filter on your left, the whole home water filter and the Nature Soft um, conditioner. So that's the second box. So what it comes with is, um, again, um, this box here, uh, which has the other uh, filters and the uh, the, the wrench that, uh, you know, you're going to use it to change and some O-rings here and, um, you know, I'm not sure what these are, maybe some pipe fittings, I think. And this one's another box. Um, I think they have, uh, because we need um, two pipe fittings. That's that, and more filters, more filters. I just got a, I bought a supply for, um, you know, another um, two and a half years. So I don't need to change or call anybody. So it's just kind of nice and little fancy filter. I haven't seen this before first hand myself. So it's kind of a tread, woven tread, and it's kind of silky or whatever. And that just sits in this uh, uh, blue tank um, you see here. Uh, that's the blue tank that's a pre-filter or whatever and that's gonna stay just the one that we have here it's the same thing it's pretty much the same size but this is the pelican and that is aqua pure uh, the old one is and they also give you um, uh, this nice bracket that you're gonna use which is really solid I like it it's a nice piece of steel so it's gonna clamp onto your wall and the uh, the filter is gonna sit like that so the filter is gonna sit like that so that's the next step and uh, over here we see the ultraviolet um, kit and I think they have um, this is pretty neat too I like the uh, the, uh, the rings 
that's gonna you know, put onto the wall and 